when I tell y'all, these are some interesting times, child, that we are living in because what the fuck is going on? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't understand what's going on, but it's some things moving and shaking that we do not see that is getting rid of all of this trash that has been plaguing us for years, for decades. The trash is finally being taken out. Now let's talk about it. Hello you guys, welcome and welcome back to Mom Jeans by Nutcase where we get into the shenanigans and we about to get into some because today we're going to be talking about Diddy. Diddy, did you hear me? Diddy. And everything that is coming back up for this man, everything that he has tried to keep into the darkness that is coming out into the light, child. We're going to talk about it because I have some things. I have some things and this is about the idolization of these celebrities that we need to understand is obsolete and outdated. We need to stop idolizing these celebrities, guys, because guess what? They're regular humans, just like us. And at the end of the day, <laughs> a lot of them aren't even worth being in the position that they're in. This may be a bold statement that people don't agree with and they may not like, but a lot of these celebrities and these influencers and people in positions of power right now are non-deserving of their positions of power because there has been a cycle of abuse that's been taking place within the the entertainment industry within Hollywood within all of these different industries where people have visibility and the only people who are being welcomed through the gatekeepers of these industries are the people who allegedly because all of this is alleged don't have a problem bending their back however the gatekeepers say and that is why Diddy is in the situation he's in because he has strategically positioned himself as one of the gatekeepers of this society of this group of the these people who like to feel as if they have more power than what they do. And then universe, source, higher power has to remind them that they do not. The higher they climb, the harder they fall, baby. And Diddy is having a great descent to hell, okay? That's where he's going. Because if he wasn't guilty, why did he run? Why did he leave his sons out there, y'all? Why did he do that if he wasn't guilty? And I understand people gonna say, oh, well, the black man always gets put in these positions. Look at what happened to Bill Cosby. Look at what happened to all these people that were in that position just because they was black he had to run what if they tried to get him they could have tried to hurt him well why did he leave his sons there then why why did he leave his sons to have the same possible fate that you're claiming that he could have had why it's because he's guilty and he's selfish allegedly this is in my opinion based off his actions i don't know if he's actually guilty or not i'm just a random person on the internet who is not important in this situation because i ain't got nothing to do with it but guilty people run innocent people do not run Okay, usually innocent people are innocent and they try to prove their innocence. Guilty people try to run and hide and, you know, create illusions so you can't tell. So you can't tell if they're guilty or not. But I really want us to understand this false idol worship and why it's causing such a problem within our society, within our communities, respectively. Not just with black people in the black community, but with everybody in general. There are a lot of false idols and idol worshiping that happens and I'm no way, shape, or form religious 
religious. Like I am not a religious person and I'm not gonna put scripture down your throat because please don't do it to me. But what I'm saying is that at some point when you constantly look at things that are outside of yourself, that have no connection to any type of spiritual foundation, whether it's through religion or spirituality, and you always worship those things as if they are more than or greater than or better than something that's more natural to us as humans, it creates a problem. False idols will always fall. False idols will always fall because they were never meant to be in the position. People who are in these positions are gatekeepers who allow in other people who are similar to them who become the new gatekeepers. And it's just a cycle that keeps repeating over and over again. Diddy is one of the gatekeepers. And it seems that there's been a lot of time and energy and effort put into the machine of perpetuating these people, people who are easily worshiped as idols within our communities, people who are willing to go above and beyond to appease the controlling forces. And when I say controlling forces, it means the puppeteers that you don't see, the puppeteers that nobody even talks about because there are certain puppeteers that you guys know about and y'all talk about and it's conspiracy theories and all of this is fake and woo woo woo. But there are other puppeteers that we don't even see. And listen, I don't have any stake in the game. So don't come after me. I don't give a fuck. I'm just commentating on it. Even though you think you know who's controlling the situation, you really don't know who's controlling the situation. And Diddy is one of those people who don't really care who's controlling the situation. All he cares about is when he's going to get his check. When is he going to get his direct deposit? That's the only thing that Diddy has been concerned about since he popped out on the scene. And he's been using people allegedly ever since. But false idols will always fall for that reason. It's because they took the position of being a person who claims that they deserve star power, but they don't actually deserve star power. True stars don't act like that. True stars are not that type of person. True stars are people who are ethically sound and morally grounded. True stars are people who want to elevate their community. Those are the people that we should be looking up to, not even worshiping. I don't think anyone should worship anyone, but those are the people who we should be looking up to as a community, not these fake phony fugazi ass who get scraped up out of no man's land and given a little bit of money, which is really a carrot dangling on a string and then use it to literally sabotage their entire community. Those are not the people who we should be looking up to. Those are not the people who we should be feeling as if set the precedent or set the example for what we need to be. Now, the situation with Diddy right now, as some of you may know, is that his homes have been raided. I think one in Los Angeles was raided and one in Miami was raided. And these homes have been raided because because there is some type of probable cause to illegal activities. Illegal activities, which include, but are not limited to, illegal movement of people, money, goods, technology, and contraband, including sex trafficking, child. Oh. Have mercy, God. If they had the jurisdiction to be able to raid his house, girl, bye. They must have some evidence. Because what? I don't know what's going on. I've never been in a situation where I was raided by Homeland Security. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he was supposed to be there or if he knew about it. Somebody tipped him off. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody tipped him off that they were coming and he got out of Dodge. But it's messed up. You left your sons there and you don't know what could have happened to them because law enforcement is unpredictable. We're not going to sit here. I'm not going to act like law enforcement is not unpredictable. And there are not times where they try to get up in people's grills for no reason. And there aren't times where they step out of line when it comes to their authority but you left your sons which is like dang you left your sons which means to me that you knew something was gonna go down but you didn't even have the common decency enough to let them know I guess because you didn't want them to have any type of connection or correlation to the situation however why would you leave them there you could at, you didn't have to tell them what was going on. You could have at least said, hey guys, y'all go be somewhere else for the next two days just to protect your sons. But he didn't do that because this man is obviously selfish. He's proven it time and time again that he is only worried about himself and furthering his personal security, which means his finances, his career, and whatever endeavors that he sees fit. You know, it's an interesting memory. I used to watch uh, Making the Band. I think it was Making the Band, wasn't it? And I remember when Danity Kane came out. I think that was the band that he he made it was called Danity Kane and I was like not even sure what the situation was going on but even as a younger adult or even 
adolescent, something in my spirit was always off about Diddy. And I don't think he's going to come back from this. I don't think it's going to be a situation where he's going to be able to come back because he keeps trying to kind of save his image from this situation, but it's all coming crumbling down. This is reminding me of the fall of the House of Usher type of vibes. It's reminding me of what goes around, comes around. Whenever I used to watch Making the Band, it felt like everything that he did was kind of like half-assed. It felt like everything that he did was scammy. It gave me the vibes of a scam. So that's why I feel like he's in this situation now is because I think in my opinion that he has scammed one too many people. And at this particular moment in time, folks are tired. Cause I'm tired. Fantasia face ass, okay? So what could possibly happen next in this situation? I don't know what's actually gonna happen next because I feel like there's not a lot of information coming out about what's going on with him, but I do feel like he's in a flea at this particular moment. He's in a he's in a state of panic, which is causing him to wanna flee because you know, when you are someone who has been elevated to a status that is above your status, that's above your stature, that's above your personal abilities, meaning people give you titles and give you positions and they idolize you in this way when it's not actually deserving because you haven't done the work it gets to a point when that starts to crumble you're trying to hold on for dear life I feel like very soon we're going to learn things about this situation and there's definitely going to be something big that happens in April I don't know because they haven't said anything since the recording of this video there hasn't really been any further information on what's going to happen next but just intuitively I feel like there's something that is weighing down on Diddy and I'm going to share this with you guys because I I've heard about that lady like and her name is Sloan Bella or something like that and she predicted some of the things that were going to be happening with people in the industry and there's definitely people who are out here predicting things about people in the industry but I don't really want to do that because it's stressful however I did have dreams about two people in the industry one of which I will talk about at a later point but Diddy was one of them and this was like a few days ago I literally had a dream of being in a house with Diddy and we we were in this house that looked really nice on the outside, but it was really infested with vermin on the inside. So let me explain. The outside of the house looked nice. The inside of the house looked nice. Everything was nicely furnished and there was a lot of luxury items. But whenever you would sit on a sofa or stand in the wrong place in a room, literally lean on a piece of furniture, there would be like this weird infestation of like bugs. I don't know what these bugs were. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, but it was a very disturbing dream. And I'm gonna be quite frank with you guys is that I feel like it was showing me a situation close to Diddy's childhood because actually there was a child in the dream and they were getting like engulfed by these bugs. It looked like fire ants kind of like, it looked like these little fire ants, but it wasn't fire ants from what I recollect. It was like a different hybrid type of nasty looking bug. And it was like, engulfing this child and the poor child it was it was like I, I'm just gonna be honest with you it was not it was not um a pleasurable I know y'all don't know me but this is hard for me because I see things and I feel like God is trying to get me to express those things for a certain purpose and it's difficult because I see stuff like this and it just wasn't a good place for that child. And I think that it was kind of showing me the type of situation that Diddy may have grown up in. And there was definitely a man there that resembled the energy of Diddy, but I strongly feel like a lot of the things that people do in this world are coming from an energetic place. And a lot of Christian people do say that they're demons and things like that, but I just feel like there's energies of spirits or beings or entities that are out there in the world World that can attach to certain people a lot more easily than they can attach to other people. And I feel like people in the industry are super susceptible to this. I feel like there's a bunch of conspiracies in the industry and it stems from esoterics and the way that they use the tools of esoterics in a negative way for negative intentions on the people in the world to control the world and to control everyone for energetic harvesting and power. So that is just my conspiracy. It's probably not true. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. 
I don't presume to know. Please don't fucking come after me. But I definitely feel like energies jump onto people and it's something deeper than what we know. Don't get caught in the rabbit hole of the Appalachian Mountains on TikTok. That'll kind of explain it a little bit because the Appalachian Mountains are old as old can be. And there's old energies on this earth that have power that we don't even really understand. And if you aren't connected to your inner being and respectful of the laws of the universe, you fall victim and you fall prey to those energetic influences. And I feel like that's what's going on with Diddy. And I feel like it's an energy that's passed down from the masculine energies that he's had in his life associated with him from when he was a child. That's what I feel. Now, I did a little research on this because I could give a fuck about Diddy, okay? I really... I'm really not somebody who's into this type of stuff, but it's very interesting when you see the spiritual and karmic correlations to things that are happening in the world and how it connects to like astrology and different predictions. So if you're not into that type of thing, I understand that, but it's very interesting. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious? So when I looked into Diddy, I found out that his mom was a single mom. His dad passed away when he was like two or three and he really didn't have a male influence in his life. And even before his father passed away, his father was a drug dealer pretty much. It was very interesting to me because it's like, even though his father passed away or was unalived, the fact that he still carried that energy of being in criminally minded things as a drug dealer flowed to his son regardless of whether he was in his son's life or not. I also found it interesting that Diddy basically explained in an interview, I think I'll put it on the screen, that his mother was kind of more like his father because she took on the role of his father and his grandmother was like his mother. So I feel like that plays a role in some of the confusion that Diddy has when it comes to the decisions that he makes because whatever's going on with him, I feel that it's unresolved childhood trauma. And I'm gonna release a video soon about childhood trauma, but that's what I feel like it is. It's unresolved childhood trauma that he hasn't even really cared to deal with because some people are able to become successful because they push so far away of evolving and growing. He became successful through this hardship and he had to experience this hardship in his life. And I feel like it's energetically passed down from the masculine energies in his life that this entity or whatever this energy is or with this demon on him, whatever you wanna call it, that makes him do what he does it's been passed down from all of these other masculine energies in his life and he's instead of facing it and fighting it he has chosen to embrace it and I feel like that comes from the decisions of his father I also feel like that comes from the decisions of his mother because I don't think his mother is the greatest person and I'm not trying to defame anybody but there was like a picture of him like kissing his mom in the mouth oh no god no, God, please, no. And I just feel like that's completely inappropriate. Like, I just have a problem with women who put their child in a position of being their partner after their partner either leaves or passes on. I don't like it, and that's what it's giving, okay? It's definitely giving a feminine energy who is imbalanced, first of all. And when I say imbalanced, I mean energetically imbalanced, not necessarily having equal ground between their masculine and feminine energy, but also also a feminine energy who's just like projecting these things onto their child and I just don't like that and I feel like that's why he is the way he is so in this particular moment what's next for him could definitely be some type of legal ramifications or some type of judication that he's gonna have to deal with but I don't think it's gonna be pretty I don't think it's gonna be pretty at all and I feel like just with the symbolism like if you go look up the symbolism of an infestation of bugs in a dream it wasn't actually happening happening to me like I was walking around in it and if I leaned on something like I could not get too close I had to really be careful of what I touched in this dream because like it was kind of like attaching trying to attach itself to me but I wasn't gonna let that happen because I was like no I even woke up like with my skin crawling because it was really visceral and he's gonna have to make a choice of whether or not he's gonna basically like own up to what he's done or if he's gonna just keep pushing forward and to me it doesn't look like he's about to own up to anything 
thing. And I feel like y'all, I'm just going to be honest with you. If he does not own up to what he has done, what we see unfold for Diddy in the near future could definitely be something that you've never seen before. A lot of the things that are happening to the people in the spotlight right now, or people who have done negative things are things that we have never seen happen before. I don't necessarily know what's next, but I feel like he's gotten a warning or he's getting some type of warning to deal with his inner things so that he can kind of like try to come out of this situation. There's not going to be a way I feel like for him to come back from this. Like, I don't think he's going to be able to come back from this. And I definitely feel like there's a guaranteed, in my opinion, allegedly, there's a guaranteed repercussion that he's going to have to face for this. And it's never going to be the same when it comes to his power and influence within the industry. Also, the fact that he's older, people don't understand how certain things work in the universe. I feel honestly like this is a bit of karma. I feel like this is like justice, universal justice and universal balance. Because when things are unbalanced, they have to be rebalanced. When things are unfair, they have to be made fair. People may not want to believe that, but that's what it is. People like to say, oh, that's what you get. That's karma. No, it's like karma can be good and bad. Karma is indifferent. Karma doesn't care who you are. Karma doesn't care about your family. Karma doesn't care about anything that you care about. All karma cares about is balance. That's it. And what karma really is, is the boomerang effect. Whatever you put out, that's what you get back. That's what it is. So if you put out a bunch of negativity, bullshit, and hoopla, you're going to get a bunch of negativity, bullshit, and hoopla back. And that's what's happening to Diddy. It's karmic. And it's crazy because people are like, well, I know a bunch of bad people in my life and they're not getting their karma. I don't see them getting their karma. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it most of the time. The fact that Diddy has affected so many people in the community is why we're all getting to see it. I feel like a lot of the things that he's done have been either towards the public in a negative way to hurt the public or it's like something that's been hidden in plain sight. So I I don't, I'm not God. I can't tell you what it is, but I know that this is the energy that he's been putting out is coming back. This may even be because there have been people who he's publicly humiliated. Now he's getting publicly humiliated. That Do you get what I'm saying? That's why I feel like it's karma. Because even if something goes on for a long time, it doesn't matter how long it goes on. It could even go on for generation after generation after generation, depending on how much power a person has to influence a situation negatively and how much they're willing to sacrifice. But eventually it comes back. It really does. For example, at Walmart, if you work at Walmart, right? Or if you work at any like major retail store, if you start stealing, baby girl, baby boy, they are not going to get you on the first stolen item. They're gonna watch you. They're gonna observe you. They're gonna look at the cameras and see what you do. They're gonna follow you on your break. And then when you get to felony status, that's when they're gonna embarrass you halfway through your shift and call the cops on you so that you can finally go to jail. I've seen it happen, okay? You are not gonna get punished straight off the bat. So it gives the people who do negative things this false sense of security like they can just continue to do negative things and that's the trap that's the test that your creator gives to you is how are you going to use this information are you going to be a good example to people and rise above your impoverished situation with your dad who passed away and your mother who was possibly not a good influence and are you going to be a good example to other young men in your community who experience those same situations or are you going to be an example of what not to do and what not not to be and who not to act like. And that was Diddy's choice and he chose his path. And you have several chances and opportunities to come back from that. It's not like people are just doomed. I don't want you to think if you're watching this that if you've ever made a mistake that you're just doomed, but there are certain things that you're gonna have to do to, I mean, for lack of a better word, repent from those actions. There are certain things that you're gonna have to do to make up for that negative energy that you put it out into the atmosphere for everybody to absorb because that's what we do. Even if you don't think Think you're a part of it, you're a fucking part of it. And a lot of people know that they're a part of it and they use it as a weapon to victimize people. And I feel like that's what Diddy did. So at this particular moment, it has stacked. All of these things that he's done have stacked up against him. And now they're coming in to enforce the felony status of spiritual punishment for whatever he's done. And, you know, that's just, I, I just feel like that's what it is. A lot of people talk about these families. Y'all know who I'm talking about, who are in power. They're beginning 
meaning of their name rhymes with goth, okay? A lot of people talk about those people who are in power, like where's their punishment at? What are they going through? But a lot of times what you don't see is that their family is paying the price in some way, shape, or form. They just have one person in the group who doesn't care. If you've ever watched the show Outlander, which maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I think it's a really good show. The whole premise is that the woman goes back in time. She ends up meeting one of her husband's ancestors. And later on down the line, she ends up finding out, technically in my mind, this is a realization that I feel like she makes personally, but she doesn't, they don't speak about it. What ended up happening is that because her husband's ancestor was such an evil person back in time, and there was really no type of repercussion or punishment at that time for what he was doing, that's why her husband in the current time wasn't able to have children with her. And there was a betrayal that happened that specifically makes that relevant because she ended up traveling back in time and met her husband's ancestor, found out how evil he was and ended up falling in love with someone from the past. And it was a whole long convoluted story, but she fell in love with this man, married him, got pregnant with his child and then traveled back to the future to where her future husband, her first husband had to literally raise another man's child. Long story short, it comes back and you never know what types of genetic mutations and diseases these people could be dealing with on the back end that they're not going to tell you about. It's something that you don't see. And I think that sometimes people think they can get away with things for so long, but you actually cannot. And that's what Diddy is experiencing right now. I know I'm talking about a lot of other things that seems like it's not related to Diddy, but I promise you that is what is happening. That is what we are witnessing right now. We are witnessing the universal law and karmic justice system of honor and valor and morals and ethics. And basically like when people say do the right thing, this is what happens when you don't do the right thing. And a lot of these people who have been doing the wrong thing for years are now coming out with these repercussions because the bill is due, baby. The bill is due. And I'm not sure they have the money to pay it. And this is the age of Aquarius. And if you don't know what that is, I will put it on the screen. But this is the age of Aquarius. And everything is gonna be switched up, flipped up, dipped in the water, scorched in the sun. Everything is gonna, <laughs> everything is gonna change. Everything that's been hidden for all of these years is gonna be revealed. And this is a part of it. All of these idols falling, this is a part of it because they're false. And they're not truly deserving of the position that they have forcibly garnered within our lives, within our society, and within our communities. And they have to be taken out of power. This is a dethroning of all the people who didn't deserve their position and all of the people who didn't appreciate or be grateful for the position that they were given. And now they have to be removed so the true influencers, the true stars, the true leaders can actually step forward. All right. I'm about to take it off. It ain't never. It ain't never. Ooh. Now, I feel like real quick, there's an important lesson here for the black community okay, that we're all being taught to learn at this time when it comes to the people who we raise up, when it comes to the people who we support, when it comes to the people who we lift up and put on a pedestal. We have to start understanding the seriousness of that action. I feel like in the black community, we have to start understanding that even though people say it's not Diddy's fault, if people are influenced by him, it actually is. This is a lesson for us to understand the actions that we have have repercussions and consequences consequences and to look at the situation and realize that this is why we're in the predicament that we're in because even though Diddy may not be making music or entertainment or be involved in projects that are meant for children or young adults it definitely influences those people because guess what if he's not making content or involved in projects that are influencing children he's making content and products that are influencing those children's adults they're influencing the children's parents so then it's like by secondary way of the adult in the household, that type of material is still reaching the child, which is still influencing them, which is still perpetuating the negative stereotypes and the toxic behavior that is held so dearly to so many of us within the community as if it's something good, but it's actually something horrible. Cause like when you say, oh, the city girls and sexy red and what's that other girl name? Ice Spice or whatever, or Blueface and all these other people. I don't know these 
these rappers, child. I don't care. But when people say that it's the parents' responsibility, they have a point. It's true. It is the parents' responsibility to not allow their children to be influenced by those things. But there's so many ways that an influence can kind of bleed into your existence or bleed into your child's existence. How many of us do not want to hear about Krishan Rock and Blueface and everything that was going on with them? But somehow, some way, it came into our peripheral vision. It came into our existence. How many times have you been on social media and you saw something that creeped you out or grossed you out or made your skin crawl that you didn't go out looking for, that you didn't try to see? How many times have you been in public situations with your community and your friends or situations where you have conversations with people and you come across information that you never really wanted to know? It's not something that you can really control. And even the best parent who tries to monitor what their children do and the best parent who's doing their best to raise their children in a proper way can't necessarily prevent negative influences from coming in. So there is a level of burden and responsibility on people who are in power because Spider-Man's uncle said it best, with great power comes great responsibility. And a lot of these people don't wanna have the responsibility of power, but they wanna have the perks of power. And that's why the universe is getting them out of there. They're sweeping everything up and everything's about to start over. And it's like, okay, when it comes to the black community, when are we gonna realize that? When are we going to realize that the actions of the few outweigh the actions of the many? And even if most of us are wanting to be good people and most of us are honest and most of us are genuine, those few outliers who are a problem create a huge problem. And the only way that you can combat that problem is to have a united front when it comes to what should be acceptable and what's not acceptable. Now, I'm not saying that this decision is gonna be made overnight, but I feel like this is part of it when it comes to realizing the type of people who we perpetuate and put in power. This is a turning point where we're being given the opportunity and we're being shown that our influence is important, that our financial power is critical in these types of situations. When we perpetuate things that are negative, that actually don't have a good influence on our community and then act as if we don't see it and ignore it and act as if it's not there. Like we're going to deal with it later when nobody's looking, but we never really deal with it. I just feel like what you guys need to take away from this is to understand that number one, if you've been through something bad or you've had a bad life or a really hard upbringing in your life, you don't have to continue to live that over and over again in every situation that you deal with. You don't. You don't have to perpetuate that cycle over and over again in your life. You can choose to move forward and you can choose to do something different. And it might be very challenging, but it's actually gonna be very much so beneficial for your existence and quality of life. You don't have to agree with what everyone's says is good or what everyone says is cool or what everyone says is right. You can be your own person. You can be an individual. You can be someone who has an opinion and a mind of their own and chooses to take whatever negative situations that you feel like you've been dealt in your life and make the most of it by trying to be a better person or by trying to at least be a better example to the people around you. I genuinely think that it's difficult to change, but that it's possible to change. And when it comes to Diddy, I just feel like I hope for his soul, if he has one, that he can recognize that and try to do the right thing and bring some closure and peace to the people who he allegedly or could have possibly caused some type of harm to. And I think that as an individual, you should be able to do that as well in your life. And if people don't forgive you, then that's fine. It's not really for them. It's for you. What I also feel like is a positive takeaway from this whole conversation is the fact that we need to stop putting our faith in people when it comes to one individual. I feel like there's hope and faith in putting our faith in each other as a group coming together, I feel like there is positive potential that could come from that. Because of course, they're trying to take advantage of us in certain ways and separate us so that we're not able to do that. And that's obviously happening. And if you're not seeing it, you must be living under a rock and your name must be Patrick Starr. (laughs) However, I think that we as individuals should not put our faith in these people that are elevated and put in our faces as a focal point as if they are something other than human. We are all human. We are all the same and different at the same time. We all are unique and similar. So what we really need to put faith in is ourselves. What we really need to do is focus energy on improving ourselves and being the best people that we can be. Because if you take the time to improve yourself, regardless of what anybody else is doing around you, if you take time to improve yourself, you 
you're going to influence some type of change within other people. Because even with me, I took the time to improve myself over these years and whatever work that I've been putting into myself, I'm pouring it back out. That's karma as well. I'm pouring it back out to you guys and trying to make a positive change in my community, trying to make a positive change in the world. And it's going to touch someone, even if this video only gets one fucking view, it's going to touch someone in a positive way. And however it touches them will then touch others. Each one teach one, ain't that the same? Because what you do to positively influence two people will then be possible to positively influence four more people because those two people are gonna go off and influence two other people. And it could be more than that and so on and so forth. We have to start looking at the fact that these people who are in these celebrity positions, like who the fuck are they? Like honestly, they have bills, they have debt, they have taxes, they have karma, they have problems, they have ups, they have downs just like we do. They're nothing special, but they are, but they're not. But the same way that they're special is no different from the way that you're special. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this situation, y'all. It just feels like to me, I'm not trying to make predictions on nobody's life because I don't want anybody to have that power over me. I don't wanna assume that anything is gonna happen badly. But uh, when you are a negative person, negative things happen. And I'm just gonna let you know that I feel the next person on the list might be Jay-Z, okay? I'm gonna keep it real. Jay-Z and Beyonce, you better watch your back. Because right now with Beyonce doing this country album, her having Renaissance, now her doing this country album and then her taking over rock and roll, this whole thing that they're doing over there. I feel like Beyonce has been working for years to uh, mitigate and be a buffer to some of the damage that Jay-Z has been causing on the back end. And anybody who's been in association with Diddy, this is not a threat. This is just a suggestion. Y'all better watch your back because it seems like they, folks is out for blood. It seems like whether it's it's an authority force or some type of law enforcement. When I say authority force, that's what I mean. Whether it's that or whether it's um, God, okay, the universe, y'all better watch your back because what's been done in the dark is show coming to the light, okay? Y'all be sure to like the video, subscribe, put your comments below. Let me know what you think about what I said and everything that I said in this video because I know it was a long ass video. But let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also check out any of my other comments content that you may be interested in because I'm so happy to have you here. I really appreciate all of the support and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.